two Kubota RTVs, identical, right? Nope. Kubota makes two different styles of RTVs. They make a general purpose and a worksite. And today we're gonna go over the differences between the two. Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg. We're gonna take a look at the general purpose RTV X900 and the standard worksite X900. Again, to your first impression, you might say, wow, those are the same RTV, because that's exactly what Leah said when we started filming this, um, was these are the exact same RTV. They're not actually, and there's a reason that Kubota makes a general purpose RTV. And the reason is so they can advertise a very low price point RTV. And what they do by that is meaning it's very general, it's very basic. It misses you know, about five or six different features we're gonna go over real quick. Um, whereas the standard work site, which is what we sell the most of, I very rarely ever will stock one of these, uh, but the standard work site comes with most everything you need for the day to day. So the good news is the actual mechanicalness of the RTVs are gonna be identically the same. The engine, the transmission, the hydraulics, um, the suspension are all going to be the same. It comes down to comfort features and utility features. So first thing that you guys are looking at that you might see is the difference since you're looking, grill guards on the front. We have the nicer grill guards, gonna protect your hood a little bit better. You run into trees, some branches. This is gonna give you a little bit more protection on the front of this RTV. Um, it has the same mounting points and everything for a winch or anything, but this is just a little bit cheaper. It's less steel. Uh, it's not protecting your side skirts or fenders as much. So this is the most basic part. The first thing you see when you look at them comes standard with a nicer, more protective grill guard. Almost everything else then comes down to the operator station differences. So the first thing we're going to notice, and this is our worksite, this is our standard, that I notice when I sit in one of these and I go to drive, if you come on in, you'll see I have a tilt steering column. It may look simple and basic, but when you're going for long toms, or you're short or you're tall, having the ability to move this around is very nice. On our general purpose, and I'm gonna do a lot of hopping back and forth here, this is set. There's one position. If you're taller, you can see I'm five foot 10, maybe 5'11". Um, my knee is very close to here. Even on the throttle pedal, I only have about an inch of clearance. If I was 6'1", 6'2", this is gonna be very tight. Now, if you're shorter, it is nice to have this kind of down, but there's no adjustment to it. Speaking of height differences, there is no sliding seat. This is a standard set position on this seat. I'm stuck here, whether I'm short, tall, long-legged or not, this seat is in this position, no ifs, ands, or buts. Speaking of buts, when we sit our butt down on this one, it is nice to be able to slide this seat very far forward. If you're 4952, something like that, uh, somebody short is gonna be going, this wouldn't work for me, but you can slide it all the way forward or all the way back to get a lot more room. You can actually see the clearance I was talking about over there. If I'm putting that, I now have four or five inches of clearance. I could be a lot taller and still be comfortable driving this RTV. Next comfort feature is gonna be glove box for storage of stuff. Right now, this one probably has an owner's manual in it. No, nothing. So, but you have a glove box that is, you know, weatherproofed. Um, you can store stuff, you can store tools in there, handguns in there, owner's manuals in there, whatever you want to, winch cables. And as you see on that one, there is nothing. You have the option to add on a door. You can see the hole is there, but there's no glove box. Again, bare bones. Next thing we're gonna talk about that is here on this one will be your hydraulic dump bed. So we can hydraulically dump these utility vehicle beds by pulling on this lever. And let me grab my keys and I'll do that real quick. Show you guys how it works. The diesels have a hydraulic dump bed. And in my opinion, that's one of the best things about them is the ability to load it with dirt, mulch, logs, dump it, get the dirt out of it, wash it easier. And you can drive along and spread stuff with it but you'll have this full hydraulic dump bed. On our general purpose model, there's nothing. It is a manual, so it has two latches on either side. Grab your handle, pick up. There is not even, if I remember correctly, nope, there is no even assist cylinder on this. There's nothing to take the weight of that. You have more than 100 pounds in there, good luck picking that up. It is not easy to do. It's an option you can add on. It's, you know, a $900,000 option, 
that's why one of these, we'll get to price point, this one is advertised at, I think, $16.7 right now. Um, if you go to Kubota USA and build it, and this one's $18.5. So mental math, you're $1,800 difference between the two for these features. For the $1,800, I'd go with these. Something else that I chose on this, because I choose a standard, is actually bed liner. You can see the line X, the factory installed bed liner on it. Helps protect it, helps grip, things won't slide around as much, it won't scratch as bad, it won't rust as much. Whereas this is just, you know, standard painted steel. Um, and so it's going to scratch a lot easier, it's going to rust a lot easier, it's not going to be as great to use. Um, if we looked at the back end, this one's flipped up, there's really nothing else different. You have your two inch receiver on the back, you've got your transmission on the back and everything. So it comes down to those features, the util utility view, um, utility specifications that make this a much nicer model. So when you go to price out your RTV X900 from your dealership, um, you're looking to buy a used one online, make sure you know which one it is because those little features add up to where the $1,800 with hydraulic dump, tilt steering, sliding seat, glove box, grill guard, all those things will add up to a much nicer utility vehicle in the long run.